All right, so I may, I don't think I figured it out quite yet, but we're going to test it anyways. <laughs> Apparently, if I want this, this mod to work as intended, I would need to overclock my switch, which is something I have not learned how to do yet. So I might save that for another day once I figure it out. Because I don't feel like spending like half an hour on stream trying to figure out how to overclock my switch. So I'll probably just save the mod for some other time. So, yeah. Hey, it looks like, uh, hey, at least we got Yoshi there now. Though that's pretty neato burrito. So yeah, let's, uh, let's start the game. Oh, and the W emblem also carries over to the save file. Wahoo! Yeah. Okay, so apparently, right? What the mod is supposed to allow you to do... Uh, let me look at the... Let me look at the page again. It says, press ZL and D-pad down to force the game to run at 30, so... Um, yeah. And then it says... It says to press ZL D-pad up to force the game to run at, six, at 60 FPS. And I don't think it actually... I don't think it actually does anything yet, but... I might figure it out sometime. And hey, maybe we can actually get this game running in 60 FPS. Would be pretty nice, honestly. But I don't think this mod has been improving anything so far. But, anyways, let's actually do chapter 4. Alright. Uh, anyways, uh, sadly, we gotta take off the Nostalgic Tunes badge for now. Because we're gonna start a new chapter, which means I wanna hear all the nice music, you know? I'll figure out that mod eventually, though. Chapter 4! For Pigs the Bell Tolls. Ooh, look at that. Twilight Town. Uh, this place gives you the creeps. Is this Twilight Town? <laughs> hey. <laughs> it's been a long time since anyone's come from outside. You come from far away? <laughs> yes! <laughs> yeah, those close years. Pretty sure you guys must be adventurers, right? <laughs> this is a bad time to arrive, though. Wait, we are adventurers. Maybe it's the perfect time. <laughs> Wait, what? Bad time? What do you mean by that? Come on, tell me! <laughs> and then Sans just pops out. Dirt, dirt, dirt. Oh, jeez, Wiz. I don't know. It's a scary tale to, to hear. And it's scary to tell, too. <laughs> oh, no. The bell rang again. Oh, this is so awful. Who could it be now? Oh! Whoa, that was the craziest thing I've ever seen. What's going on in this weirdo town? <laughs> oh, badness. Now poor Gloober got turned into a pig. Not good. Look at you, Gramps. <laughs> I'm the mayor of this poor town. Some call me Dower. <laughs> I'm not exactly the sharpest fellow, but I do believe your adventure is right. This isn't the place for the telling of tales, sadly. Come, come to my house. <laughs> Fucking brilliant music. My traveling friends, welcome to Twilight Town. Well, I'd like to welcome you. But welcoming people is generally a good thing. And it's nothing but bad here. Hmm? 
As you may have guessed, our town has been damned. Oh! Wow, damned? <laughs> yes, damned. That is the right word, right? Yes, of course it is. You see, beyond town is a forest, and in its heart is an ancient building, the creepy steeple. The dark creature who lives there, it, its curse ordains that when the steeple bell rings, one of the Twilighters living here in this village becomes a pig. Will my loved ones become swine? Will I too become a curly tailed oinker? I'm so worried I can't sleep at night. Of course, night and day are pretty similar here. If this keeps up, well, the village will become one giant pig pen, which will be bad. Let me give you some advice. Leave us. Leave before you too get pigified. Not gonna happen, Gramps. We're looking for something really important. Maybe you've heard of it? It's a star-shaped rock called a crystal star. Uh, I don't know about any crystal star thing, but in Creepy Steeple, there's a glittery red stone shaped like a star. Oh, are you serious? That's gotta be the crystal star. Gotta be. Oh, you people. You aren't thinking of going to Crystal Peepers Steeple, are you? <laughs> Unthinkable. My... My family and friends have all been turned into pigs. That's not a good thing. This is the village where we all are were born, after all. We can't just leave. This is Twilight Town. It's Twilight here, which I guess makes sense, huh? That moon gives me the heebie-jeebies. I guess the sky here is always the same. No morning, noon, or night. Wouldn't perpetual dusk get, like, a little boring? That's the Twilight Town Mayor. He doesn't seem too reliable, though. I guess he's been through a lot, though, so maybe I gotta cut him some slack. Isn't there a thing back here? Yep, fair enough. Living in this dark place, it's so depressing, you know. I don't really care if I turn into a pig or not. As a local Twilighter, I have no idea if he or she's gloomy or jolly or what. I mean, I guess that's a pretty optimistic looking person, but what do I know? Yoink, yoink. This pig also used to be a Twilighter. This is also totally tragic. Ah! <laughs> That's a crow. You know what crows are like, right, Mario? Oinkity oinkity. That's Gloomer the pig. I mean, Gloomer the guy who got turned into a pig. When I think of him having to live like this, I get oinked up. I mean, choked up. No one of these has uh, a star piece. Oh, there's a fire flower. That's new. Where are you, star piece? Star piece, come out. Come out. Come out, star piece. Hello, hello, star piece, come out, please, star piece, star piece, where are you? There he is. The skybox sure is unique. Groink. That's a Twilighter who got turned into a pig. This guy, I bet he didn't think he'd be forced to sniff out truffles, huh? Burzoink. That's a Twilight ever got turned into a pig. He seemed like a happy guy, even as a pig. Some people are just like that, I guess. Will it feel weird to turn into a pig? Do pigs feel stuff? I'm not looking forward to this. That's another Twilight ever. He seems to be stuck on some dark thoughts. Hopefully he won't worry himself sick, that can turn out worse than what you're afraid of sometimes. Oh yeah, let's sleep at the inn, we can get a free peachy peach. Fetch your body and soul. At our lovely Twilight Inn, I raise ten coins. Will you stay the night? <laughs> Did you sleep well? I have a nice Twilight. That's the guy who runs the Twilight out of ten inn. Be sure to rest when you're down. Just remember, when you wake up, there's it's still gonna be dusk. Give me that. Peachy Peach! That's a good item.
This is Twilight Town. The people here are just as shadowy, shadowy as the sky. I wonder if I'd get if I'd get that way if I lived here long enough. Gross. Still, I guess being all gothed out is better than being a pig. Smoink boink, boink, croink oink. I feel like I met these pigs before. How is that possible? In this village, the moon is really all we can rely on. It can even grant wishes. Don't let me turn into a pig. Don't let me turn into a pig. I'll even give up bacon. As a local Twilighter, he's pretty into how important the moon is here. I gotta admit, it sure is prominent in this dusk, but he still may not be- he still may be a werewolf. Oh, they're so sad looking. I haven't been able to buy food for my children since my husband turned into a pig. Now they're all so hungry, what should I do? Mommy, I'm hungry. Food, please. Kind traveler, if you have some spare food, can you share with us? Mmm. What should I give up? Um, you know what? I have the peachy peach <laughs> that I just got. Oh, thank you so much. You've made my children very happy, and me as well. It's not much, but please take this as thanks. Feeling star! Oh, and town traveler, where did you hail? Oink. T moink, moink. Hey, fix my mommy. Mommy, you're a piggy. That's the oldest of the three brothers. They're all close in age, so he's not much older. That's the middle of three brothers. The middle child is so middle child, you know? Does that even make sense? I know she didn't turn into a pig to feed her hungry children. That would be too gnarly, but that is some spooky timing, I swear. Hey, my pig good eating? That's the youngest of three brothers. Hmm. Not that I can really tell just by looking. Caw. Caw, caw. Noink, noink. I like the sound of the pig's oink. It's got a nice bass tone. What is that weird? Oink. This little fella seems oddly relaxed, don't you think? Something tells me this is not a normal pig. Caw, caw. I love the, I've always loved the, the little pumpkin patch here. Also, I don't seem to remember you being able to go into the pumpkin patch. Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah, I'm a novelist, and I read several books a day. Not all pop up books either. Only if pigs can read. I'm a bit concerned about it, to be honest. That's a novelist who lives in Twilight Town. I don't know what kind of novels he writes. I can't believe people actually read in this town. The light would kill my eyes. It looks like the crystal stars inside Creepy Steeple. That place is deep inside the forest and far from town. Yeah, there's a star piece back there. Um, yeah, I got all the star pieces here now. A nasty monster lives in the woods past here. I'm serious. That's what somebody said. If you still want to get through after hearing that, you need by the mayor's position permission. Ha! We heard that one before. Nasty monster, please. Well, whatever you gate guy, let's go ask Mario. That's the gatekeeper of Twilight Town. There's a guy like this in every town, huh? If there weren't, you'd go wherever you want and beat the game so fast. Ha! <laughs> never mind, let's never speak of it again. I'm thinking lately. Oh yeah, I wanna be a big pig. Cause what's the point in being a pipsqueak pig, right? You gotta embrace the pigginess. What the fuck? Why is there a pipe here? What the fuck? The pipe rejected you? What? Why is there a pipe in this house? That's weird. That's a local file there. Are all these people wearing major eyeliner or what? Oh, maybe it's like a local fashion thing. Didn't they get the memo that goth is out? Boink. Groik, groik. That's the shop manager who's now a pig. Yuck, what a totally awful fate. That's the wife of the Twilight shop manager. They run this place together. She seems like she really loves her husband, you know? That's so sweet. She seems kind of indecisive sometimes, though. There's something behind the sign. Yep, there's an in coupon there. 
Um, customer. I'm sorry, we're not open right now. Mm. Oh, why am I crying? My husband's returned to a pig. A pig. Oh. My husband went to the woods yesterday to collect herbs. But no husband came home. Instead, a pig returned. This pig. I got in a fight before he left. And I'd called him a chauvinist pig. And now he really is a pig. But he has a sweet side too, like cooking my favorite food on my birthday, you know. And when the shoppers get rude, like my husband is in such a bad way, you know. He just got some manly, wonderful things, you know. Wish he went till he kept the money to come on, you know. I could really use a radiator, you know, and milk, tar milks, uh, socks, and uh, my spy following, you know. A million, uh, 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 this big, uh, yeah. So, um, are you even listening? Oh. Yeah, of course. So, hey, could you figure out some way to restore my husband to normal? I'll do whatever I can to help. So, you can even take whatever you want from the store with my help, you know? Wait, hang on. I think you get unique dialogue for doing this. What's that? The store was locked? My husband must have taken the key with him and lost it in the woods! Oh yeah, right, we gotta talk to the mayor. Let's head to the mayor's house and get his permission to pass through the gate. Oh, the bell rang, Mario. That means someone's gonna... Uh, at least it's not me this time. That bell, that bell sound is very iconic. I'm glad they kept it the same way. <laughs> Hey, you don't think this pig is the mayor, do you? Oh! What do we do now, huh? We can't get his permission to pass through the gate. Hmm. Even the mayor got turned to a pig. At this rate, they'll all be pigs soon. And then, even us. No way! Winky winky. Because the mayor's a pig, we can't get his permission. What should we do? Bargain with the gatekeeper, maybe? Well, nothing's getting done until we can get out of the village. Let's talk to the gatekeeper again. Huh? The gatekeeper's gone. No, not gone. He turned into a pig. Well, not to be insensitive, but that works out for us. We can just cruise through. That's a chance. Sorry, gatekeeper. We're gonna pass on through. That's the gatekeeper who's been pigified. I feel bad, but I guess we can pass freely. Let's go. Twilight Trail. Wait, what the fuck? Oh, why is there a blockade here? That's really weird. This is Twilight Trail. Kind of a depressing little road, don't you think? I feel like something as bad has got to be at the end of it. Maybe I'm just superstitious. Is there a star piece panel here, or am I making that up? What the fuck is up with this? I don't know why there's a thing in the way. This is more of Twilight Trail. A lot of enemies around here, it seems like. Hey, by the way, Mario, is it me or has the moon been getting bigger? N not that I'm scared or anything, really. Hold on. Oh. Of course, we're gonna have, like, spooky Halloween-sounding music now. <laughs> That's a hyper Goomba, which means, um, it's a hyperactive Goomba, duh. But if this guy goes bizow and charges up, his attack power will be 8 next turn. So you better wipe it up between the time it charges up and the time it attacks. And if you can't beat him, then run away, okay?
All right, Goombella. Let's multi-bonk this fool. Wow, wow, wow. Spooky battle theme now. Oh, I thought... Oh, there is nothing here. Oh, there is. There's a mushroom in there. Oh, fuck. Can't carry any more items. When did I get all this shit? I need to start using my items, then. Oh, there's a super shroom in there, too. Oh, there's so many items on the Twilight Trail. What the fuck? There's like three mushrooms in the same screen. A bit overkill, don't you think? Oh, and this guy has a fucking life shroom. What a cheeky bastard. Might be a good battle to use it on then. That's a hyper paraguma. It's basically just a hyper goomba with wings. After charging up, you'll be dealing with moves that have an attack power of 8. Once you jump on it, it'll lose its wings and turn into a regular Hyper Goomba. Not that that's all cool. Even normal Hyper Goombas are dangerous. Bonk. Haha, ha, you're dizzy. You know, actually, I do kind of want to see the Hyper Goombas attack. And who knows, maybe I'll, maybe I'll be able to get into danger this way. Oh. <laughs> the stage hazard activated when I didn't want it to. Wow. Our first instance of stage hazards. The Shy Guys came in and fixed it. That's pretty silly. Bingo time. Whoa. Did it too late. Wow, wow, wow. Moonie in there. Oh, he got bonked! Oh, this guy also has a light shroom. Fuck off. Yeah, I get bonked. Oh, they got frozen again. <laughs> well, I mean, that works out for me, I guess. That's a hyper spiky Goomba. It's a hyper Goomba with a spike on its head. After charging up, its attack power rises to an incredible level of 9. That's scary. Beat it before it attacks or you'll be in peril before you know it. Seriously. The only book listed a way to dodge that attack. Well, I guess I get an easy, uh, an easy win here. Oh, fuck off. Yeah! Alright, super hammer time. Yeah, I really do want to see them attack. It'd be pretty neat. Ow. Oh, but I'm not max HP anymore. I could welcome Bill can heal me, it's fine. Wow, wow, wow. I have um You know, just eat the hot dog, honestly. I want to see him attack.
Okay, I take it back. That was really underwhelming. You know, I was kind of hoping they do something that like, they do in Mario Paper Mario 64, where they do like a charge attack. That would be really awesome if they like carry that over. But sadly, charging is not that cool. Oh, wow, tasty tonic. I don't think there are any star pieces in this area. If I remember correctly, anyway. Broink. This pig is a Tylator. The shock of being cursed made him lose his way, I bet. Got the shop key. So how am I gonna deal with that fucking um that thing that's in the way? Yeah, cause I can't get rid of it with a super hammer. Maybe flurry. Oh wait, 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 wait. Oh. They randomly added a new puzzle into the game. That's very random. But you know what? I won't complain. Kind of cool. I wonder if that's something they wanted to add into the original and just didn't have. Maybe. Oh wait, hang on. I need to get my voice changer ready. Yeah, okay. But I have the shop key! You open the storeroom, I see. Feel free to take whatever you want out of there. That's a good trade for a chance to get my husband back, I think. No sense in fretting, though. I should get the store ready for business. I sure wish I had my husband back in normal form to help me run the place, you know. Alright, so we got a booze sheet. And I just realized I don't have a lot of space. Fuck. <laughs> Alright, well, you know what? Um. Fuck the, um. Fuck the coupon. And we get the Fem Plus! Boost Mars Defense by 1. Hold up, hold up. Hey, who's there? I just heard a voice. There's no way that people could be here. Seriously, that's just too unlikely. Huh? What's that you say? You seen a chest like this before? Get out of here! No, no, no. I'm not like those chests, I promise. Look at my eyes, tell me I'm lying. I'm not, seriously. Just get me out of here. You'll see. Don't make me beg. Hmm. What? Come on, sir. You know how ridiculous you sound right now? I'm laughing in here. You honestly think I'm gonna curse you when I get out? Curse you? Well, I did plan on doing something to you, but it's not so much a curse as a... Well, a really wonderful new ability that'll allow you to go to special places. Doesn't that sound nice? Hmm. Oh, come on, please. Just find this key and open the chest, okay? I know it's near this town somewhere. I just can't go look for it myself, because I'm in here. So, pretty, pretty, please. Wait, is that a... Oh, my, oh, my. You already found the key. Oh, happy day. Hey, <laughs> fools. Darn it, darn it, darn it. What were you expecting? Did you think a lovely lady would pop out or something? No, I'm going to hit you with the big, the king of curses. The cursiest curse ever. Fear my terrible power. You will know the pain of having your body roll up real small. Be cursed. <laughs> now you're cursed, loser. Savor your suffering. When this curse strikes you, you won't even be able to walk. 
you'll be forced to roll around this attacky tube. Hee <laughs> your suffering amuses me and so I laugh. Now show me your cursed plight so I can laugh all the more. Just press and hold ZR and rotate left stick repeatedly. <laughs> your pathetic misery thrills me to the core. When you're in that form, you must roll everywhere like some embarrassingly extruded wheel. I wanted to get a good long look at you in this pitiful form. Now roll, roll like a drought of butterscotch on the sidewalk. <laughs> well, do you see how pitiful and tubular you are? When the suffering becomes too much, press B to revert yourself to your normal self. Don't forget. Yeah! So tell me, do you now understand your eternal, cylindrical agony? I understand. I leave you to suffer, fools. Wee. <laughs> Well, whatever, I guess we're leaving that ink coupon in there. I think we're just going to have to accept the fact that a few birds might get in the recording. But you know what? Maybe the birds want to be in the recording. At noon today, the Access Express ran late for the first time in 10 years as a suspicious incident activated station security measures. Area youth and huge train enthusiast Lackey was found taking pictures in an employee-only area near the Express and was gang-tackled by local Samaritans. I appreciate how much people are into trains, but we've got safety and security measures up told, blustered the train engineer. The youth was released with just a warning, this time. This week, we highlight Glitzville's souvenir shop. Though they've never attracted as many customers as the nearby hot dog stand, the proprietor is certain that any day now, people will, will in fact notice that his shop exists. Early on in our interview, the owner of the nearby hot dog stand cornered our reporter and had this to say, The souvenir shop is irrelevant to true hot dog connoisseur with ten coins to spend. A minor scuffle broke out shortly thereafter, but we're happy to report that no one was seriously injured. Apparently everyone in Glitzville knows how to roll with a punch. Hey there, rookies. Flex your bendy straws, because today's recipe is fresh juice. Just blend honey syrup until, you're until you reach nice, fro frothy texture and joy. Try one in the morning to start your day off right. We're just getting started, people. Wait until you see the glorious next issue. Yeah, so that's RDM issue 3. Alright, so now we can actually get somewhere in this chapter, so... Yeah. Uh, looks like my recording time is at an hour 30, or it's at 33 minutes, but... The stream itself is at almost three hours because of how much I fucked around, but yeah, it is what it is, I guess. Alright, well, let's speed this up a bit. Yep, later, losers. Okie dokie. Well, they have a save block here now. That's new. Alright, Flurry. It's time. It's time to come out. Looks like the Crystal Sardines I see click creepy steeple. That place is deep in the forest. And far, far from town. Oh, uh, you know what? That's probably the, that's probably the star piece behind the, uh... The pipe that I was thinking about. Okie dokie. Ooh, this place looks really nice. I right, got a crazy daisy coming up. You know what, let's see the Crazy Daisy attack. That's a Crazy Daisy. It may look totally cute, but it's a serious foe. What you gotta worry about is his lullaby. That tune will totally zonk you out. If you manage to guard well, though, you might not pass out. Try to learn the timing. When when his HP runs low, it runs away. So try to KO it in one fell swoop. Charge. Fuck. 
<laughs> oh, here you go. Here we go. Holy fuck, 10 damage. I do hope we can find the Amazing Daisy first try. We're in the woods now. It's really dark here, so watch your step. Man, wasn't there something over here? Yeah, there's a coin block here. Now, this place looks really nice in um, this remake here. Oh. Can't care anymore. Man, I really gotta use up some of this shit. Alright, um... Oh, I guess I just gotta get rid of the earthquake then. Oh, I got, a, I got a great idea then. I got a great idea. Alright, let's use... Um, let's use that earthquake then. Do a nice clean five damage and then finish it off with a quake hammer. Actually, I probably should have multi bounced, but whatever. Yeah, I probably should have done that. Oh well, what can you do? I feel like something's just gonna pop out of that thicket and attack us. Like what? Well, could be... Stop it, I don't want to think about what it might be. Scary. Alright, here we got hammer throw. After these interruptions. Oh, there's a hyper cleft. The hyper clefts look more aggressive in this version. That's a hyper cleft. It's basically a cleft that uses charged up moves. When it charges up, its attack power rises to 9. Couple its rock hardness with its ability to charge up and things get scary. If you're confident, you may want to try Super Guard to send its attacks back. If you can't, you better use some items or you better hightail it out of here. Well, I can do this. Oh, fuck. Well, we're asleep. Oh, we might actually be... We might actually be screwed here. <laughs> Wake me up! Oh, um... No, my life shroom, dude! Well, um, this went badly. Damn. Shitty battle, honestly. No, I, I don't need the mushroom, but thanks, I guess. There we go. Attack is now boosted. Yeah, take that, bitch. Well, that sucked. I wasted a life stream for nothing. I might have preferred if, you know, they just died. Oh, point swap from a crazy daisy? Hmm. Might not be bad, honestly. <laughs> Look at that. It's time for a shroom fry, then. I don't have any FP items again. Except for the moose cake. And the spicy soup. No, I don't want- I don't want the mushroom. I'm gonna get rid of that. <laughs> uh. Oh, we're gonna need flurry again. So, for some reason, they decided to move this a little bit upper. 
I think it might have something to do with the fact that the foreground is in the way. Yep, still in the woods. It's getting awfully dark around here. If there were, like, a big hole in the ground, you'd probably fall in without seeing it. Flurry would float right over it, so I'm sure she's not worried. <laughs> hey, Mario, this hole's covered up. You have a sturdy stomp with ability to change that. <laughs> Looks like the crystal- okay. I mean, it's not a bad change. Definitely helps that, so that you don't fall into it as often. No Maisy Daisy. What the hell is going on here? There's fog on our side. Is that good for us, then? <laughs> I'm going to assume yes. Did they change how the fog in this system works? Because if they did, that'd be kind of neat. Maybe they also made it less stupid, you know? Because it is really stupid in the original. It's just a layer of fog covers the stage. Even though it looks like... You know, even though it looks like you're getting it, you fuck up anyways. This creepy steeple where the monster supposedly lives. This place creeps me out. Let's get that crystal star and get out of here as fast as we possibly can, okay? This creepy steeple. Seeing it in the moonlight gives me the willies. Looks like a ghost could just pop out in any minute. No way I'm going in there. Uh, although I guess since you're with me, Mario, I'll give it my best. Gates locked. If only there was some other way in. Or some kind of way space to sneak through. Well, I don't know about you, but I need to heal. Love the music. Oh, you actually, have to, you actually have to ground pound this. That's another. Ch I'm noticing a lot of changes in this chapter so far. Fuzzy beetle. That's a fuzzy beetle. Oh, it's kind of cute. It's got pretty good defense, and firing explosions don't hurt it whatsoever. But if you jump on it, you can flip over and drop its defense to zero. Then it's at our mercy. Ha! <laughs> don't hesitate. Jump, 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 jump! This fucking room. <laughs> I know I shouldn't be coming in here yet, but fuck it. Alright, I'm gonna use a power punch here. Boom. See, I don't need big mar I don't need big Gumbella. I can just make it they're big with the power punch. I just want Tornado to jump and I'm gonna leave. I'll come back later for the spike top when I we actually have to come here. I swear there was something behind here. Yeah, there we go. Oh, you actually have to hit the lock with your hammer. 
Interesting. I see that weird mat that weird infinitely respawning coin block is still there. Yeah, hey, I see the cat I see the key up there, the steeple key. Boop, 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 boop. Ooh, fun room. There's a treasure chest, I know. We got the cookbook, yeah! This appears to be a creepy steeple storeroom. Sheesh, have a few cobwebs. I'm not so good with ghosts or spiders, to be honest. And ghost spite and ghost spider is horrible. Is there something back here? I just sworn there was a star piece back here. Aha! I believe this is Ice Smash. Yeah, let's go. I love tube mode. My friends have all been digging away. So lonely. My friends are all gone. I'm so very lonely. That's a boo. A familiar floating fluffy ghost. You think it's stuck in this room somehow? Feels like there's a story behind this. We're inside Creepy Steeple. At least the moon provides a little light, you know? This place seems super old, huh? I'd like to research it as soon as it's not haunted. Don't leave me alone. <laughs> Mari gets spooked. Oh, wait. Oh. All right. Always loved this little secret here. I got another flower saver. I think multiple sure is nice. Who knew we could get down here from up there? Wow, this room is well hidden. Talk about a minimal decor. One jump pad and one door. Think there's anything else? To be honest, I don't remember what else is in here. This is an underground corridor and creepy steeple. The flames are kind of freaky. The face they're burning means someone must have been here recently, though. Or the fact that they're burning. Oops. You have anything you think say about this one, Goombella? It's just it's considered a treasure chest, I guess. Oh ho ho, he he he, ma ha ha. And they passed out. Okay, it's quiz time, Interloper. Just now, when the box opened, how many of us boos came out total? 200! Good, very good. Take this, math nerd. See ya, sucker. <laughs> math nerd. That always making me laugh. Yay, I'll true. Are you gonna be mean to me? Yes. Then go away, meanie. Are you gonna be mean to me? No. Promise! Come on out, guys. Ooh. You can actually hear the funny boo noises. What's up with all those ghosts? Stay focused. Maybe those blocked doors will open for us somehow. <laughs> you said you'd be nice. Let's get him, guys. Coming out of your life when? I don't know, man. TTYD remake is the hype right now. 
Yeah. Hey yo. Can't flee this fight. Hey yo, they gave Atomic Boo his own boss theme? That's pretty rad. That's an atomic boo. It's a giant boo made up of a ton of smaller boos. This thing will try to smush us. It can also split up and send hundreds of boos at us. And when we attack, we might get so scared that we get confused or can't move. I sure don't want to see this thing standing behind me in the middle of the night. Creepy. Oh, let me, let me just jam out for a sec. Bro, they did not need to go this hard for fucking Atomic Boo. That's not good. You know what time it is then? It's uh, sweet treat time. Oh, oops. Locked up sweet treat. That's okay. We got we got that was a pretty decent sweet treat, honestly. that. <laughs> Are those like ants? Those supposed to be like anti-guys or something? Ooh, a bushy. I want that. Yeah! I mean, I could use it. You know what? Let me, let me give a taste of your own medicine, bro. I sell one of those shroom fries. Actually, you know what? I got a boo sheet. We might as well use it. Visible attacks. Or visible now attacks will miss. Oh! Merly the goat. Well, he's fucking dead. <laughs> Yeah, let's go! I cannot believe they gave Atomic Boo a fucking boss theme! That is one of the coolest fucking things all chapter! And I have an all Boo audience, because of course I do. Oof, I felt that slowdown. Oh, yeah, we got a lucky start, though. Yeah! Hmm. Tornado jump. Yes. Yes, yeah, so let's put on tornado jump. And we can also put on... I don't really know what else to put on, honestly. You know, take off close call. And we can put on, uh... Well, not but yeah, let's put on Flower Fighter for now. Lucky Star will be a funny badge to put on, though. Well, we did already fight Swoopers, technically, so... We don't actually have to worry about them. Ooh, get away from me. 
This is a courtyard of creepy steeple. Pretty decent breeze out here, huh? Yeah, we just get that golden leaf. You know, like the gold leaf that I have. <laughs> Plus it's a good cooking item, free 10 FP, always good to have. Oh yeah, there is a star piece panel in here. They're where though? There it is. We'll have to backtrack here later, so it's not a big deal. Oh! Wait, the switch top's working. That's very smart of them to display that. Wait, 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 hang on. I want to tattle that area. Where is that crystal star hiding? It's supposed to be somewhere in Crystal Ste Cre Creepy Steeple, isn't it? Crystal Steeple? It's a courtyard Creepy Steeple. Boy, that garden could use some love. Crystal Steeple, what the fuck? What am I talking about? Wow, interesting staircase. Just one staircase with three doors. What's the story with that, you think? Lazy architects? Wow, hoo, ha, hoo! Okay, now there's booze. There's big booze up here. What? How did I get the first strike? That's a lot of booze. That's a boo. It's everyone. It's Eric Ghost. Well, most everyone. There's nothing right home about on the attack side, but it can turn itself or allies invisible. But if it turns invisible, we won't be able to hit it, so beat it while you can see it. Boos are kind of cute, but I sure wouldn't want to meet one in a dark ally. Alley. If I ran to one of the mi middle... If I went ran to one in the bathroom in the middle of the night, I'd... Well, never you mind what I'd do. <laughs> in the bathroom. Um... I guess I could use the fire flower that I got. Ooh. Oh no, no. Not this again. Well, um, this is going fantastic. You know what? Tornado jump! Oh, I forgot my buttons. I'm bad at the timing. Alright, let's try Tornado Jump again. Ooh. And Tornado Jump still sucks. <laughs> yeah. Uh, fat guy was right. Tornado Jump still sucks. <laughs> but man, is it a fun move to do because of the button combination. Well, hey, we're in danger now, so that's good. One. There we go. I wonder if I should get another gold leaf. Yeah, I might not need to. Oh, you can actually jump down here. Look, there's more booze! So glad they kept the weird ass designs of the booze in this game. And they didn't bother modernizing them, because that's what I, I like the old boo design. Very great. I'm glad they kept a lot of the old designs, though, in general. Oops. My dumbass forgot to hit the switch. Ooh, it's very spooky in here. Oh, seriously though, why do people hate the shiny, the shiny surfaces in this game? Also, I noticed the boos are faster. 
That's one thing I definitely noticed. Keep the key. Whoa! How much FP do I got? Ah, I got perfectly fine. Should be enough. Oh, dude, we get to hear Duplice's theme finally, guys. This is gonna be epic. This winding staircase leads up to the Belfry. Talk about a doozy of a climb. I mean, it's almost like the staircase saying, Go away, I totally hate you. Ooh. Fancy. Hey, hang on there, Slick. That is not- that's not what Dupla sounds like. <laughs> you know what? I don't fucking know what Dupla sounds like. Hey, hang on there, Slick. What are you doing? Interrupting my me time. This is the monster the mayor was talking about? You gotta be kidding me. Ooh. Jammer. Jam alert. Who are you calling a monster? What's your problem? Why do you need to pick a fight? I'm busy thinking up new pranks and stuff. It's not easy either. I get lost. Of course you guys won't. No way you need to go away quietly, am I right? Well, all right then, Slick. Fine. Yes, I turned the villagers into pigs. Big deal. Big deal? You big jerk. Why would you do something like that? Well... You know, they're all so depressing and boring and dim-witted all the time. So instead of wallowing in gloom, I fear they might as well wallow in mud. <laughs> now they're pigs. Get it? Isn't that just so perfect? It's like irony or something. So, what? You got a problem with that? I guess you do. So let's play, Slick. Ooh, that was awesome. All right, let me just let me just jam out for a sec. This, this new part is good. <laughs> I guess I'll get down and dirty if you're gonna play like that, Slick. Aw, no super guard, sad. All right, I guess we'll point swap then. We'll have some point swap fun. Well, it doesn't really leave me with much FP, so <laughs> kind of shot myself in the foot with that one. Point swap goodness, yeah. Yeah, super guard of Duplis, let's go. Power HP yet, do I? Yeah, time to regroup here. So you think you're a couple of heavies, huh? Well, then, my dear friends, if you thought changing folks into magic was impressive, then you're gonna love this. I got something very special for you here. Ooh. 
do you like them apples? Now that's magic, people. Now you're fighting yourself. Ha! <laughs> I'm a dang genius. Oh, poop. Didn't do much damage, though. I didn't even tattle him. I was so into the fight. <laughs> Hold on. What? 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 Yeah. You beat me. I forgot to tattle him. <laughs> oh, Good ass fight. You got a crystal star. Chap end of chapter. Mario defeated the scourge of creepy steeple and found the fourth crystal star. The people of Twilight Town have surely recovered from their awful curse by now. At this rate, Mario's quest to collect all seven crystal stars will be done in no time. With his back, the creepy steeple, Mario set out towards his bright future. Are you kidding me? What a total pushover. Well, I got the crystal star, so let's get out of here. Oh. <laughs> Oh, fuck! Spooky. You can't use partner hints when you have no partners in the party. No. Oh yeah, look at that. So you can actually see Mario. He's purple. He's purple now. I'm purple Mario. An old building deep in the woods that exudes a strange aura. Apparently I have... 60% of the star pieces. Twilight Trail. A forest trapped in a perpetual state of dim twilight. One must watch one step while navigating the path. I missed half the star pieces. The fuck? A town stuck in a perpetual state of dim twilight. Even the gloomy townspeople have dim expressions. Oh, there comes the birdies. Hey, birdies, you want to be in the recording? Go ahead. Yeah, see, he, he's having a good time out there. An old building. Okay. Yeah, so my dumbass forgot to get the tattle for Dupless. So I was too focused on how awesome the music was. When this hyperactive Goomba charges up, its attack rises to 8, so watch yourself. When this winged hyper Goomba charges up, its attack power rises to 8, so watch out. When this spike-headed hyper Goomba charges up, its attack power rises to 9, so heads up. Really, you guys couldn't come up with better tattles than that? Uh, Crazy Daisy. This fleet-footed flower foe is super cute, and it sings one hypnotically sleepy lullaby. Oh, boo. A somewhat shy ghost that can make itself and its allies invisible. It may be a ghost, but it's pretty cute. A massive creature made up of countless boos. It attacks by breaking apart and sending out hundreds of boos. Hmm, I think that's it. Yeah, I forgot to tattle Dupless. I can't believe that I forgot to do that. Wow, I'm almost tempted to- I mean, I don't think- I think it auto-saved, actually, didn't it? You know what, let's find out. Let's find out if it auto-saved. I wouldn't mind replaying that fight, just so I can tattle him, but we'll see where it saved me at. Wait, hang on, I got a question. What does the title screen look like now? <laughs> Is it just gonna be like purple Mario? Wouldn't that be a funny Easter egg? That would be a funny Easter egg. If the title screen changed. Oh no, I do get the I do get to fight him again. Yeah, I don't mind refighting him. I wanna title him. <laughs> Thank you. 
And you know what? I get, it gives me a chance to listen to music again. So you know what? Win-win if I if you ask me. By the way, I love that his chair rocks now. <laughs> it did in the original, and the fact that it does now is amazing. <laughs> Mario's angry! I know the bell rings before the boss is fucking amazing. Alright, let's actually tattle him this time. <laughs> huh? Wow, how totally bizarre. This thing isn't listed in here. There's a monster in, the, in here that looks like this thing, but it doesn't list a name. It apparently is really good at transforming itself and other things. Maybe you use that power to turn the villagers into pig. Into pigs. This thing's a real jerk. Alright, let's see how many power bounces I can get. Not very many. Almost be worth it using to use the dried bouquet, but I don't know. We'll see. And you know what? Spicy soup. There we go. Man, I, the unsimplifier is definitely making the power bounce a lot more challenging. There we go. There we go. Oh yeah, and for some reason, in the Duplis fight, whenever he uses he transforms, he reverts to 10 HP. I don't know why. Yeah, we did it again. Oh yeah! Tell you what, I'm gonna I'm gonna go use the bathroom and I'm just gonna like mash through this real quick.
Now that has to be one of my stupidest bits. Leaving. Also, I don't have a voice. My voice is gone, dude. No. Hey, let's actually look at his entry now in the title log. He's just gonna be marked as question mark, question mark, question mark. Yeah. This is the beast that plunged Twilight Town into the depths of fear and despair. It enjoys turning innocent people into pigs. That's a cool detail. That he doesn't have a, um... That he doesn't have a voice. Which makes a lot of sense, actually. Also, one thing I just noticed is... Duplice's fake Mario persona... It actually copies what color... Emblem you have. Which is something it didn't do in the original, which is really fucking cool. So, that's a really good detail. Really, really good attention to detail. That's something that was missing from the original. Whee! Yes, this time we'll take that Mario and get his map! With this super bomb bomb here, there's no way we can fail. No, not likely. <gasps> Vivian, hand me that glorious super bomb bomb! Huh? Vivian, don't you dare! Does that huh mean what I think it does? I, I I never had it. You were holding it just two seconds ago. You said it was too important to thrust trust me with. Oh, you are a terrible liar! Stop making up stories to cover for yourself. If I don't have it, then obviously you must have it, and obviously you lost it. Or are you trying to imply that I lost it, you lolly gang worm? I no no, of course not, Feldum. Well, we can't do much without it, can we? Oh, you're such an idiot. Very well, I'm sure you must have dropped it around here somewhere. So why don't you look for it while Marilyn and I go take a well-earned siesta? And if you don't find it, well, you know what'll happen, don't you? I... I get punished. That's right, you little twit, so get cracking! So come on, Marilyn, let's leave this useful little fool to our chore! <laughs> Ooh. So curious as to what that, um, pipe in Twilight Town is all about, huh? So sinister now. No, oh, go away. Mario doesn't have a voice. Oh. There's a coin block here. I don't think I knew about that. Or maybe I did and I just forgot. The tone of the chapter is like completely changed. Holy fuck. That's pretty great. Ah! I can't do anything. I mean, I can. I can, but if I, you know... I'm gonna run. This is pretty much what I do every time I play this chapter, though. Oh yeah, I never picked up Hammer Throw. <laughs> I ran right past Hammer Throw, what the fuck? Mm, who's pinging me this time? Is Epi sending me a message? He must be happy because I'm getting close to recruiting Vivian. No, no, he sent me the funny, angry Mario and Dr. Mario picture that I've been seeing everywhere on the internet. <laughs> Look how angry they are. Oh boy, this is gonna be rough. Oh, yeah, I guess I can pick this up now. Yeah. How many items do I have now? 11, okay. Nope, nope, get away from me. <laughs> you what? You sent me the funny Mario and and Dr. Mario image. Oh, 
Oh yeah, I forgot about this star piece. Wasn't there another- it says there's another star piece here, though. What could I be missing here? Oh no, I have all of them now. There's only two on Twilight Trail. Okay, I just forgot about that one for whatever reason. Oh, something about you being happy. Yeah, you're gonna be happy because I'm about to crit- uh, I'm about to recruit Vivian soon. I mean, I might be able to win this battle, actually. As long as they all charge up, you know, they'll all be fine. Yeah, okay, we're gonna be fine. Arrow. Yeah, last stand is goaded, because it rounds it all. Oh, of course, now you show up, Merle. When I don't need it. <laughs> yeah, I did it! Ugh, oh, get away. Okay. I just think it's really cool that Mario, um, he lost his voice. Hey, what's up, Slick? Been waiting for you. Yes, you're Mario, right? What a great name. And I really dig this body, too. Man, can I jump now? And hey, you're so popular around here. I get mobbed. I just love being you. Yes, it's so cool. I don't think I ever want to stop. So you figured it out by now, right, Slick? Your body and name belong to me now. See, I've got the power to change my shape into anyone I want. It comes in handy. But to really be someone, I need to take their name and body too. Which means you turn into a shadow and can't use your name. Tough break, Slick. That's not enough either. I aim to erase you for good. I guess it'd be unsup in sporting to ruin you without a challenge, so I'll give you one chance. If you guess my real name, then I'll give you back your brain and body. What do you say, Slick? This'll be fun, right? Now guess what's my name? Hit me with your best shot. Oh, you actually get the, like, OG, um, naming thing. See, this is what I was expecting to be in the game. <laughs> and yeah, you can, you notice the P is missing, right? So you know what? Um, I got a better fruit name for you. Your name is now Assface. <laughs> Wrong Mundo little nobody. Who would name their kid that? Prepare for Doom Slick. <laughs> I don't even think about running from battle here. No running. You're not thinking about running away, are you? You better not be. Alright, so I'm just gonna show this off. <laughs> he takes no damage. But you do take damage. What the fuck? Wait, what? Why'd they change that? Well, you know what? Thanks for getting me into peril. <laughs> Yes, he's dr th that's drunk Mario. Dude, the full fucking point in the original was that neither of you could damage each other, and all of a sudden he can damage you now? That's stupid. I don't like that change. Oh! That's no fun! Ooh. The 
mood here is kind of wild. <laughs> now that Maria took care of that curse monster, I don't have to guide the gate. <laughs> but here I am, doing it anyway. Yeah, just keep the weirdos out, you know. <laughs> yeah, you look kind of weird. If I had to classify you, you'd be a bad guy. <laughs> yeah, I'm a novelist. It's not all that easy on the eyes, but I read by moonlight. So what kind of books do you like anyway? Uh... Fantasy! Should you spend your time reading something a little more worthwhile? Suspense! Is he, is he gonna say that for all of them? Okay, he's gonna say that for all of them. Yeah, I like the illusion of choice. The curse has been lifted since Mario beat that bad, bad ghost. Ah, the perfect yellow cap. Those scuffed purple overalls. He's the absolute best. Oh, wow. Wow. They actually went in and changed the dialogue based on what outfit you're wearing. That is fucking wild, actually. Why did you do something about your appearance to spiff up like Mario, huh? That is an amazing change. Okay, I want to find out. Can I, can I use this pipe yet? Fuck. Pipe still rejects me. I've been thinking lately. I don't really want to be a pig, but being a crow could be okay. Because then I can fly. No one's ever heard of a flying pig. Oh god. <laughs> he forgot about these fucking two. You know what? I'm gonna buy a life shroom just so I feel safer. Yeah, stopwatch, spite pouch. Oh, they don't sell rune powder here. They sell spite pouch though. Oh, this is awkward. That pig wasn't my husband after all. This guy's younger and kind of handsome. With a strapping fellow, perhaps it's time I trade in for a new husband. Oh, I'm always fooling. Welcome to the Twilight Town shop. Let's store some stuff. Um, store the older shroom. Store the gold leaf. Store a bow, a bow sheet. Store one of the point swaps, I guess. Store the dry bouquet, obviously. Yeah. Anything else I can help with? Come back soon. I'm also gonna put that jam and jelly in the storage, too. <laughs> the, yeah, light mushroom. <laughs> Alright. There we go. Really? Oh, I just tore- I just took a- I just stored away my mushroom. Fuck, what am I doing? Let's take the maple syrup out. Let's, get, let's take a few of them. Wow, a super mushroom! Yay! <laughs> Keep forgetting about the shop points, man. Yeah, you know what? Uh, put that in storage too. There you go. All right, let's talk to these. Huh? I do not understand this madness. Ah, do to, not at all. I just do not get it. I ended up coming here to that pipe. But it gets fuzzy after that, and now I do not know why I'm here. Now that is not a problem. Now there's a problem. This young woman's quite fetching, eh? I collect the goods, and she sells them. Simple. A good shop, like a good marriage, is dependent on teamwork, my friend. So show your support and buy something. Fortunately, can't tattle them yet. This curse was oink lifted. That Mario sure was oink something, wasn't he? Ah, uh, I gotta stop oinking. What should I oink do? The moon granted my wish. I never turned to a pig. Someone living on the moon must have heard my wish. Who do you think lives there? Little green men or Princess Peach? Little green men. Ah, <laughs> too funny. You must be a dreamer. What an imagination. Am I hearing shit? I'm definitely not hearing shit. There's some there's some sort of weird song going on in the distance. I don't know. The battle master. <laughs> don't think I seen your lack of mug before. You got a name, tall, dark, and faceless? Hello. 
What? You got your name stolen? Huh, that's a new one on me. Hey, I'm gonna call you Nameless Frank for now. You need fighting lessons, Nameless Frank? I know my fights, so let me tell you. Wanna talk violence? <laughs> oh, they gave him some unique dialogue. That's cool. Alright, let's read a few more. Watch out for errant nozzles. You'll notice the nozzles on the stage now you're ever higher and you're on a fancy stage. When attacks shake the stage, these nozzles sometimes fall over and hurt you. Don't worry though, stage, ha stage hands will come in and get those things fixed up in a jiffy. Mm. So all of these are... I've, I've done all of these. Wait, there's a few more actually. Tornado jump. You wanna hear about something cool you might not have known in an adventure name was Frank? Tornado jump is a badge that'll cause you a tornado when you pull off its action command. Frying enemies in particular hate this. It causes it to ignore the defense completely. If you're having trouble with Ross of Frying guys, maybe you want to equip Tornado Jump, huh? Let me tell you about a badge I found pretty handy. Hammer for all rest, you're, you know, throw your hammer when you hit an Ash command. It bypasses defense and you can hit an enemy no matter where they are in battle. If you have trouble with a fryer or whatever, give him the old hammer for all. Wait, it ignores defense? Did they buff? Did they buff hammer throw? Enemies that ignore defense. Don't just rely on high defense, because some enemies ignore it without with magical beams or whatnot. If you're up against passing attacks like that, look into badges that roll incoming damage. For example, the Rash Stand badge has all incoming damage when your hedge pays at 5 or less. There's also the P down the up badge, which draws your attack by 1, but also rolls ro ro incoming damage by 1. Oh, and if you get good at God Ash commands, you'll drop damage by 1 and Super Gosh make it 0. You know, I could just do the last four ones. If you use a piercing attack, you can ignore enemy's defense. The piercing brawl and hammer throw badges both let you pierce that make piercing attacks. So they buffed hammer throw? Ayo, hey, what the fuck? Holy shit, I need to let Zack know about that. That's pretty fucking wild. Some of your partners also have piercing attacks. Experiment, see what they can do. Oh, and there's, item there's items out there that do piercing stuff too. Try different stuff. I did not know they buffed hammer throw. I should have looked at the description, dude. Have you noticed that sometimes enemies will start the battles holding an item they miss, Frank? Try to eliminate those guys quickly, before they get a chance to use their gear. Some enemies have actually figured out how badges work and start the battle with one equipped. They really are stronger with those badges, so stretch out. You know how enemies drop coins when you beat them? Sometimes they drop other stuff, too. So there might be hearts that restore HP or flowers that fix your, fix your half FP. They even drop items or badges, especially when those were holding their stuff in battle. Wow. <laughs> and also, Zeppi sent me more Vivian. Well, I guess I won't complain. Is there anything else that's new? I think that's all. Wait, no, there's more. There's more. I didn't look at it. Sometimes the audience gets a little too excited and throws something while you're choosing your actions. Some of them are trying to help, and they'll throw your items or hearts to hear your HP. Some of the makers trying to be trying to bean you with a tin can or something. If you're paying attention, you can prevent them by throw throwing anything by pressing X. This will stop both the good and the bad stuff, though, so try to notice what you're throwing first. Lots of different folks try to watch battles on the stage, so let's run through some nameless Frank. Toes throw only good stuff, Luigi throws really good stuff, but doesn't show up often. Gomez and Dolbos only throw trash, so watch out for those guys. Shaggers throw good stuff, trash, or even just charge onto the stage and cause action sometimes. Oh, actually, he's actually telling you about... He's actually telling you about it, about the audience members. Currently in a Vivian brain rot, if that makes sense. Sure. Let me take a drink. There are other types of spectators, too. Let's talk more about them. Gobas throw good stuff or trash, and sometimes throw up in their shells. Eggshells show trash, but when your attacks miss, they'll throw a hail of stones, a whole hail. Rapaz just eat the spectators next to them. Pretty still good stuff, but will run away and leave the theater if they're surprised. Alright, thanks. Also, I just noticed the item sign here. It has, like, the makeup on that the Twilighters do. That's pretty nice. Hey, we are the Traveling Sisters 3. Hey, I think we were pigs until a moment ago. No, wait, we're not pigs. 
But if we were, we'd be such cute ones, huh? Thanks to Mario, our village is back to normal at last. If you see Mario, you should thank him too. Mommy, I'm hungry. Pork chops. Uh, oh, well, I do. What do I do? Poor me. Well, we'll talk to her in a sec. We gotta talk to the Islanders first. You know, you can get through anything if you have good memories to cling to. Now, if I could just figure out my day as a pig qualifies memories. We're free. Yes, we're no longer pigs. Yeah, I say yoink. No more oink. I just want to sing. You know, people have to say that my shadow is faint. But yours is really something. I mean, you are a shadow. No offense or anything. <laughs> He's basically trying not to be racist. Oh, yeah. Here's this. Oh, thank you, thank you. We owe you so much, Mario. Please, take this as a token of our thanks. Eat up. Wow, they have a whole ass feast there. Now, who might you be? I don't remember inviting any shadows to my house. Sorry, but Mario's visiting today. If you don't need anything, please leave. Boy, Mario sure got chatty all of a sudden. I mean, he, like, never talks. Oh well, I guess not too totally weird or anything. My, 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 Mario's rather dramatic of late, isn't he? To be honest, I rather enjoyed his quiet dignity and strength of character. Hey, ha, whoa, hey, wow, look at me, look at me, it's a me, Mario. <laughs> ah, you wanna know if Gonzalez has been acting different lately? I mean, I guess he's more annoying now, with all the weird shouts and <laughs> laughing stuff. Um, Mario seems kind of different. I mean, he's sort of like the life of the party now, I guess. That's kind of cool. You ought to move in here. A shadow like you, you'd fit right in now. Know what I mean? Uh, what? Got a yellow cap and some purple overalls? That sounds familiar. Come on, Brain. Oh yeah, that's Mario. He's his adventurer who saved our village. Are you an adventurer too? I like adventures. Ah! Whoop! I projected you. Um, I'm looking for something very important. If I don't find it, my sister's gonna punish me again. It should be around here somewhere, but I just can't find it. Oh! It should be around here somewhere, but I just can't find it. What? You found it? <laughs> they got Mario drunk, holy shit. Oh, oh, thank you so much. Thank goodness. At least I won't get punished now. Oh no, it, it, it's broken. It must have broken when my sister dropped it. What will I do? What will I do? Oh, why does everything have to go wrong all the time? Hey, don't feel bad. Thanks. You're very sweet. That actually makes you feel a little better. But what do I do now? My sisters will be back any minute. Hmm? Hey, wait just a second. What's your name anyway? Won't you tell me? Me? Hmm. What? I can't hear you. Your name was stolen? I see. Well, I guess that happens from time to time. Wait, no it doesn't. Your name was stolen. That's, well, I'm not sure what to call that kind of problem. Which fits, I guess. Okay, hello. Oh, I'm going to tell you everything. Gee whiz, you have way more problems than I do. And you were worried about me that whole time? That's so kind. Ooh. All right, that's it. I'm going to help you get back your name, and your body, and your friends. No! Hey, yeah, it's okay. Don't worry about my problems. I'm not sure I really want to stay with my sisters anymore, anyway. We aren't very happy together. Truth is, it took me a while to realize I was their sister, not their brother. Now their usual bullying feels heavier. 
I also feel I need to repay your earlier kindness. That's the right thing to do, right? Right? So, <laughs> there you go. Vivian joined the party! And Vivian officially came out. <laughs> and she has her own theme song, too. Press X to have Vivian pull Mar into the shadows where they can hide. Ooh. Hey, where'd that little bitch go? She's emo. You can use this ability to hide from enemies. Press X to emerge. I did it! That concludes the primer. In battle, Vivian can set enemies on fire with her Shade Fist. Or she and Mario can hide in the shadows to avoid damage with her Veil move. She's very happy. I guess we need to find out that ghost's real name first, huh? That'll be a start. Now how are we gonna get that kind of information? Oh hey, I have a sort of idea. Birds pretend to be innocent with people around. But they're actually really well informed from all that flying and eavesdropping. With my power, we can hide in the shadows so you can listen on them conversation without their knowing. So in addition to villagers, let's also try to get some info from the local birds. That's the least I could do for you with my powers. Ooh. Yeah, so we're gonna talk to all the birdies. Bird up. Bow, bow, bow. Bird up. So I was chatting with Rotbeak in the Toad ta in Toad Town on Instant Messenger the other day. Toad Town mentioned, and he said he just gone fiber optic on his home network. You believe that? Rod, Rad, I bet he's downloading 100 meg apps with no problem on those fat pipes. He's probably surfing that feather club for crow sites at the speed of light now. Yeah, it just blows me away. All this information age hype you hear about. And yet it's all games and feather loss sites that are driving the technology. Yeah, but I think tech bus survivors can thrive if they get viable business models. Gotta love how they're not that helpful at all. <laughs> oink, 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 oink. I'm practicing for pig time. If I go to the swine side, I'm gonna be more positive. There's no more pig curse? You're kidding. Could you give me some time alone? Actually, seeing which, let's look at Vivian. Vivian was one of the three shadows, but has now chosen to leave her two sisters behind. Press X to hide with Mario in the shadows. When hiding, nobody can find you. Attack with a burning punch that sets enemies on fire. Press the button that appears on screen. Reaches, reaches enemies at any height and also burns them for two turns. Hide in the shadows with Mario to avoid attacks for one turn. Ooh, spooky. <laughs> one turn. Press the buttons in order as they appear on screen. Vivian won't be able to act right after she rides from the shadows. Be careful. I don't know if they buffed Veil vale or not. It might still be shit, to be honest. Mmm. Any notes? Art gallery. Well, hey, we got like a chapter four sometime. Yeah, maybe. Alright. Well, it was fun having Tornado Jump. I'm probably not going to use it, though. Um, you know what? Let's put on, uh, Defend Plus. Why not? We'll go Defensive Build right now. Oh. Uh, what? Ah, Ka! She commits arson and hides from enemies. I've been really depressed lately, thinking about the depletion of fossil fuels. Yeah, tell me about it. We gotta come up with a renewable energy source before that happens. Like wind or hydroelectric. I think solar energy probably has the greatest potential. I think they kept in the fossil fuels line. Let's go. We're free. Yes, we're no longer pigs. Oh, yeah, I say that. I saw that already. I don't think any- I don't think any of these people actually say anything. Ash, the toy of the world is too full of pain and contradiction, too full of broken dreams. Perhaps I was only given wings so I could flee the terror of mundanity. Ooh.
Hey, Maud, listen to this. Ronnie, my oldest, is taking his SATs this year. Oh, is little Ronnie that age already? Well, bless my feathers, Flo. <laughs> Fucking fantastic dialogue. These crows have the most amazing dialogue in the game. So that Mario guy meeting with the mayor, he's actually the bad guy, right? And nobody even knows. Humans are so dumb it makes you want to peck their noses. The only soul that knows the bad guy's name is locked under creepy steeple I hear. And it's obvious that saying his real name is his one weakness. So, I wonder how all this is gonna end up then. Did you hear that? If we search on the creepy steeple, maybe we can find out that guy's real name. Let's go, the creepy steeple. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, they're not all boys. Strategy guides! Okay. Can I still not- can I still not, um, go in the pipe? <laughs> I couldn't hear since ads can't allow me to see if it's true. See if what's true. Hey, what's up, Slick? Been waiting for you. I would have done this back in town, but that wouldn't have looked very good, would it? She commits arson to hide from enemies. I mean, yeah, she pretty. She that is pretty much what she does. So this is the one who stole your name and body. He looks sort of familiar to me. All right, can the chatter? Here's the deal. You get your chance, then I stomp you. If you guess my real name, then you get your name and body back. Fire away, no name, no. Oh, I'm glad they, dude. I'm glad they gave you the ability to run. That's no fun. He must have been hiding there in the ambush, waiting for you to show up. Oh, forget him. Let's go get your name back. That's an amazing addition. You don't have to guess his name again, you can just run. Ah, oh, man. It's conflicting me so much, because there's so many amazing things that this remake does. It's just... The gameplay, it just doesn't feel as smooth and fast, you know? That's my only problem. And some of the censorship, it just sucks. But this is such a fantastic remake. I love the little changes like that. Fuck! Wait a minute, what am I doing? I have Mega Rush. Bitch! I'm- I'm staying in peril, then, as for as long as I can. Oh, there's a heart in the way, though. I gotta wait. Alright, heart. You can go away now. I actually- I actually need to wait it out, man. That's stupid. Alright, okay. There we go. Wait a minute. I just realized something. Does Power Rush and Mega Rush stack in this game? I think it does, because I did 10 damage. Yeah, I think they stack. That is kind of wild, actually. Well, talk about overkill. Hey, maybe I'll be lucky and find an amazing daisy. Nope. That's a hyper cleft. 
Loved all the remix battle themes, they're great. Can you guys stop dropping hearts? Jeez. I want to actually, like, get somewhere, you know? Why do you still- why do you start with 10 HP? Um, because it's- it makes the game more, uh, interesting. You know what, let's- uh, yeah, I guess I'll use the shroom fry. Why not? I can't be in peril forever, because I know I'm about to get rocked by these buzzy beetles down here. Whoop! Out of you! Well. Oh yeah, that's right, I never got to tell the spike tops. Ow. Oh, fuck. Actually, I'm stupid. Because, um... I wanted to tattle these spike tops with, um... I wanted to tattle them with Goombella, but I forgot. So I might have to do that after the chapter. Well, let's just ignore these guys. Anyways, here's this room. And a fancy room. Hey, now that I think about it, if I wanted to tattle this room, I'd have to backtrack here. Think about that, huh? Bonk. No, there's a star piece back here. It's creepy steep, you'll sub level two. Whoa, what the fuck? That's new. What the hell is that? What the hell is that doing there? Alright. Mr. Softener. Alright. Yeah! The steeple key. And the letter P. Wow, it looks so realistic looking. What the fuck? Good morning, good morning. Ah, what happened to those weirdos who are just here? Oh, whatever. It was almost nice to have some company. I mean, no matter how important it is that no one knows his real name, locking me up in here just because I know it. And making me guard the name stupid missing letter. No way to treat a parrot. I really want a cracker. Go plus your big mini. When's feeding time, huh? Pretty bird, pretty bird. Haha, <laughs> we heard that. We heard you, little birdie. Duplis, that's his name. Now, let's get your name and body back from that meanie. And we'll teach him a lesson or two while we're at it. Thumbs up! Is this what I think it is? Oh! I'm about to nut, dude. They have a fast travel in chapter 4. Which fixes most of the fucking problems people have with this chapter. No fucking way, dude. They fixed the biggest problem with this chapter <laughs> in the remake. <laughs> hey, what's up, Slick? Been waiting for you. Hey, Slick. Time to cancel your magazine subscriptions, because you're getting erased. But first, please amuse me with one more guess. It really gives me joy to watch you squirm in futility as you try to guess my name. So, hit me one more time. And this time I can actually do it.
Oops. Do please. Oh! 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 What did you just say? It can't be! Dumbass! I'm feeling faint! Oh! Now it's our turn. Let's get your name and body back. Where did he go to hide? <laughs> well, that was fun. <laughs> Anyways, I guess we should go, uh, heal soon. Thank God for this fast travel, man. Chapter 4 is actually, like, really tolerable now. <laughs> because you can just warp here now. I mean, we still have to go all the way back up there. No, no, big boo, bad boo. No, don't do that. All right, I'm gonna get another gold leaf though. Oh, you know what? I just realized. They actually keep your switch position. They actually remember, remember it. Oh! Alright, you know what? I'll fight them. Lol, you got frozen, loser. Wrong button. But you know what? It's fine. I love the little black shy guys. They're great. Anti guy is real in, in TTYD Remake. You know, maybe. Maybe we should have a little fun in this fight. Maybe I should use hammer throw. <laughs> that would be nice. Might not be a bad idea, actually. Um, power bounce. It's boring. But you know what? Hammer throw is where it's at. Yeah, put on hammer throw. <laughs> Let's see, it says, Where does use hammer throw? 2 FP are required to use this attack, which lets you throw a hammer towards one enemy at any distance and damage them regardless of their defense. Wearing two more of these powers will increase attack power, but the move will require more FP. Yeah, it says it, it damaged regardless of defense. That's really cool. Mm. And you know what? For shits and giggles, pretty lucky. Let's have a little fun with this fight. Because sure, it, you know... Oh, fuck. Why is the camera like that? Yeah, I'm gonna run from this one. Nope. Nope. Bro, are you fucking serious? There we go. That little fucking sliver, man. Weird ass camera, man. But alright. I mean, I am gonna see if I can do a uh, 10 HP run. All right, save time. Yeah, let's use hammer throw in this fight. It might be a little, it might be fun. Who knows? Wow, wow, wow. Here we go. <laughs> hey, you again, eh, Slick? You're pretty stubborn to follow me all the way here. 
Fine, fine, I see. I get it. Let's just put an end to this, shall we? Alright, kids. Put on your fighting gloves. Uh, woohoo! It's a me! Do they have fucking guitars on top of Duplis' theme? Holy shit. Sure thing, Mario. We're right here with you. Each creep couldn't take on his on his own, so he teamed up with three minus two shadows. The three minus two. What the fuck? <laughs> that is a really weird change. Well, we certainly won't be letting him do anything to our little Mario. You're gonna taste the pain, Gonzalez style shadow guy. Very good, my loyal ones. How dare this nameless nobody challenge the great Mario? Mario? The guy who stole your name and body is Mario? That means you're Mario? Yeah, actually. I can't believe it. All this time I was helping Mario. I feel like an idiot. Fuck. What's going on here, huh? Fight with your girlfriend? Well, don't expect any sympathy from us, ghoulies. All right, rematch. <laughs> See, your friends did you because you don't have the charisma of me, Super Mario. Can't flee this fight. All right, you know what? Just for that. <laughs> Ow, that did a lot of damage. Yeah, get super guarded, bitch. I think I fucked up the guard. Why would only do three? Oh. Wow, okay. I'm sorry, sis. This Mario is the only person who's ever been kind to me. Mario, I'm fighting by your side from now on. Ooh! I I've made my choice, and I'm not turning back. Actually, you know what? I think it'll be fine. I got, uh... Yeah. I could... You know what? Power lift. We haven't done power lift yet. Let's do it. Ooh, okay, this actually feels really good to control. Wow, they made they made power lift feel good to control. Thank God. Dude, I have plus four defense. There's no way I'm fucking losing this. Seven damage? Psst, no damage. Yeah, Super Guard Goombella. You can't even tell how much HP he has. Mario, I totally failed you. <sighs> mm, you know what? Earthquake. What? Damage? Oh, that's right. You guessed my name, and now stuff hurts sometimes. Oh, the fog is on our side. <laughs> Dink. Nine damage. Holy fuck. 
Oh. Water. Bingo time. Cool. Davian's ready to throw hands. Oh, Mario, sorry. Ah! Give me that juicy star power. Dude, be careful, Mario. These foes are rather tough. <laughs> Misses. Misses again. Ooh. Hey, thanks, man. Oh, rip power lift. You know what? This is fine. I'm having fun. Burned. Bingo again. Yeah, bingo. Oh, I know I missed. Fuck. <gasps> Fucking pathetic, dude. It burns. All right, we can do another power lift. Dude, I think Power Lift is even better in this game than the original. They buffed Power Lift. Which they didn't need to do, because it was already amazing. Like, seriously, they did not need to buff Power Lift, but... I ain't complaining, man. It's making this run more fun. Like, I literally can't take any damage. I'm, Im I'm immune to damage. And I even super guarded him? Ooh. You know what, Vivian? You stand in the front. And Vivian is tank- or Flurry is tanky as balls. Oops, wrong button. Mario, dear, forgive me! Ah! Uh. You know what? Fuck it. Use the Mr. Softener. Oh! Defense is dropped. <laughs> so pathetic, jeez. Burned. You'll get burned. Nine damage. Think. <laughs> you literally can't do shit. Wow. Let me see what I can do. <laughs> well, I guess he is electrified now. I know, mean, oh, fuck it. You know, go shooting star. Gonzalez, avenge me. Ugh. Okay. I gotta kill him this turn. How dare you try to do this to the great Super Mario? How dare you? Yeah, get super guarded. No, not a rock. Oh, get fucked. No! Why? How? Oh!
And I gotta level up too! Let's uh, fucking go! You know what I just realized? The fact that Mario's silent, he's becoming Sticker Star Mario. <laughs> oh no. Oh! Oh, that was a cool effect. Huh? Ooh. Okay, that was fucking awesome. That that new effect they just did there. You know what? You know what? That new effect makes up for the lack of an effect in chapter three during the transition. I'll take it. Rats! You kill Joyce! What? He ran away. I mean, wait, what just happened? That wasn't the real Mario? Do we get shell winked? How could we ever mistake our dear Mario for another? You have our deepest apologies. So who is this girl, huh? Isn't she one of the three shadow sirens you guys mentioned? Why would Gonzalez pair up with one of those creeps? Well, I, um... Okay. Mario says trans rights. Oh, Mario. Thanks for sticking up for me. Well, thanks to her, I guess you came through this okay. No sweat, right? Uh, listen, Mario. Sorry about earlier. I'd be happy to travel with you if you'll have me. Thumbs up! Vivian has really joined your party now. This is for you. Oh! You got the- I got the crystal star for real this time! Mario has learned a new attack called Art Attack. You have 5 star power now. End of chapter! Yeah, brother! Mario defeated the rogue who had stolen his name in appearance. Now Mario has four crystal stars. That leaves a mere uh, three more to find and one burp. And that means his quest to collect all of the crystal stars is more than half over. Now Mario heads off towards his next adventure with his new friend Vivian. But what about Beldum and Marilyn? And what became of the doppelganger Dupless? Vivian is so very late! Where's that scatter brain been all this time? Uh. Ah. 